What's going on guys? We are back at it again with yet another video. We have the Jetta here. We are doing some big stuff to the Jetta big boy things. Um, I'm gonna leave this video solely to the motor. All three motor mounts. Um, and we are replacing a sensor to hopefully finally fix that check engine light, which would be sweet. So instead of having a floppy fish of a motor, hopefully we can have like a rigid motor that actually wants to stay in the car this time. I'll take a little video clip so you can see how bad it is when it starts. Um, and then we can show you a video clip of how not bad it is when we start it the next time. So I'm gonna go grab all the motor mounts. I'm gonna get all my tools all set and we're gonna get these motor mounts in the Jetta. So as promised, I'm gonna get a little video. The motor's starting for you guys. You can see how crazy it is. Hopefully you can tell from the video, it's pretty wiggly, shaky, shake and bakey. And uh, so yeah, that really needs to be dealt with. So I have all three motor mounts brand new. The dry, our passenger side one is actually not too bad. The driver side one, best I can tell, is pretty trashed. The rear one's just terrible. So hopefully it uh, kind of looks a little better after we're done here. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and start taking apart the stuff. We're gonna put that EGR valve in and then I'll start taking out all the Side crap and we'll get the new So replacing the uh, sensor here is really easy. Just gotta take out these two bolts here and then the sensor and then a couple of vacuum lines and it just kind of pops right out. So what you just saw, me taking out the sensor, was the uh, anti-shutter valve sensor. So um, yeah, wrong sensor. Uh, I didn't mean to take that one out. So now I have to take out the other one for the EGR and um, I'm going to put this one back in. <laughs> All right, we've officially got the new valve installed here. Um, where's the old valve? It's around here somewhere. There it is. So if you listen really closely, I don't know if you can hear that, but it sounds like there's something flapping around in here. Shook the new one that didn't have that happen. So hopefully we're A-OK -okay. and uh, no more check-in tonight. So next thing on my list is motor mounts. Um, so we have the one over here, so we'll need to take off all the stuff over here. And then we also have the trans mount over here and then the lower motor mount. So um, I'm going to pull my jack around and we'll get to that eventually. But for now we have to take out the stock air box and the battery and the battery tray. And then we should be able to get to that motor mount. Um, I'm gonna do that one first since it's wrecked. I prefer not to leave all the tension on that one um, while doing that one first. So we're gonna do the driver's side first, um, super quick and easy and uh, let's get to it. So we have the air box, the battery box, and the battery all out of the way. So now that we have all this exposed, um, as you can see, this motor mount is really, really cockeyed over here. 
Um, when it's installed, it should be as straight as possible. So we're just gonna remove these two bolts um, and then these two bolts down here. Realistically, I probably should have new ones. Um, unfortunately, I don't. So that might be a thing for another day, but for now we're just gonna use, reuse these ones. Um, so we're gonna pop all these out and then this is the actual mount itself. This is the part of the mount for the trans. Um, suspend the transmission here and uh, pull this mount out. Here's the motor mount, just got it out. Check out how loose this thing is. You can see it. Whoa. Let's try this thing. That is pretty darn loose. I can shake him around with my hands. So definitely time to be changed and it's real squeaky. So I'm sure that's where some of the squeak was coming from. Either way, not too bad. She's out, so. We'll go ahead and snag the new one out the box here and slap it in. Just for a little comparison here, here's the new one. Moves a lot less. That one's all shaky and squeaky and this one's pretty solid in there. So it'd be nice to have that all brand new. guys there you have it we have all three new motor mounts in the volkswagen thank god because i was getting so tired of all of the motor shake when trying to take off and then just getting a little nervous about how much the motor was shaking when it was actually starting so let's go ahead and get another clip of starting the motor so we can see how big of a difference there is versus what there was and uh, we also got to run the car a little bit see if that check engine light pops up from replacing that sensor <laughs> 